to Rhiannon. It's our big day. Hope you had a great night with the girls because after that you're stuck with me and the boys. I can't wait to see you today. You're going to look amazing. What a journey we've had already. Can't wait for the rest of our days. See you soon. He's so cute. To my honey, the day is finally here. Eight years, two kids and two whole lot of memories. I'm so excited to see you. I can't wait to finally call you my husband and share the same last name as all my boys. I love you. You're almost wife, Rick. That was nice. It was about eight years ago now at Neerham District Secondary and from Ree's perspective she tells me that Ash was the cute popular boy from the year above her. He was way too cool to even know that she even existed. A spiky? Yeah. Ash, as I stand here with you today, I see the cute blue-eyed 17-year-old boy that I fell in love with. Who looks better, you or me? Uh, no. I thought that'd be the case. From Ash's perspective, he certainly knew who Rhee was. And he admits that he was initially drawn to her quirky and bubbly nature and her good looks. Love, I laughed. Laughing is funny. Can we just take a minute to just appreciate how bloody beautiful you look? Felix said it was disgusting. <laughs> Is it very me? And I had to split. <laughs> like all good love stories, they started talking the old-fashioned way over Snapchat. Yeah, that's my girl. It was late 2014. Cast your minds back to a sweet 16 little Ree and 17 year old Ash. And Ree had just happened to be at a house party, which was right next door to Ash's place. I'm told that Ash snuck out of the house that night. Did you know? No, a bit of a rendezvous. So he snuck out and they both agreed that they just slipped that night. They chatted for hours and conversation just flowed effortlessly. Before they parted ways that night, he finally had the guts to give her a good night kiss. They both admit that they'd found someone really, really special. Oh, honey. Oh, no. There is no Ash without Rhiannon and there is no Rhiannon without Ash. You are both the complete opposite and you drive each other nuts in your own ways, but it just works. I can have my moment if you want. Okay, she can have a moment. <laughs> oh yeah, get it girl. I remember the first time Ashley said, I'm going to bring Rhiannon home and she comes in and she's just standing there like this, just not flinching a muscle, she was that nervous. And I said, you can sit down Rhiannon. She sits down. <laughs> I'm not the greatest of person of making conversation, but what I had didn't work with her. I'm standing here looking beautiful and you know where to be found. It was around Ashley's 18th birthday party. I heard whispers that Ashley had a love interest. Now I am one to sort of be left out on these kind of details. I'm the last to know, because I'm the overprotective brother and frankly a bit of a bitch. So <laughs> when I kind of heard about this situation, I already made up my mind that I didn't like her. <laughs> Okay. In my mind, there wasn't a girl good enough for my little Ashley. And as the night progressed and the party really kicked off, my mind did not change. <laughs> I kept my eye on this cute brown haired girl, shy but equally bubbly with thick framed glasses. And I've never been so happy to be wrong because you really are the perfect girl for my brother. Here's me. Just through here between backs. Oh, yeah. yeah. What you see is what you get. I could not be prouder of the lady you are today. Kind, smart, beautiful, one of a kind, and most of all, completely you. Let's just get the urge to do cartwheel. I love your quirky flair, your artistic creativeness, your love for me, my family, and the boys. I love your need to put everyone else first and their problems above yours, your drive, and your big heart, and your sexy bum. He got me my butt. When you met Ash in high school, I think you always knew he was the one. Ashley, I see very clearly you are the one for my Rhiannon and I'm very happy and proud to call you my son-in-law. Thank you for being the man I can respect and trust with my daughter's heart. In you I have found an incredible person. Your sweet, loyal and funny personality makes me so happy and brings out the best in me. You are the most important person in my life. Even when I'm scattered into a million pieces, you never fail to tell me how beautiful you think I am or make sure that I know I am loved. Bye. C
sister, sister. Ash asked for Rui's hand in marriage on her 23rd birthday in November 2021. Ash planned a whole trip away down in Sorrento for an extended weekend. Even though Ash thought that he was surprising her, she had it figured out. Only a few months earlier, Ash thought he was being very clever, very sneaky, when he told Rui that he was going shopping with best man Mitch for the day because he really needed to buy some trackies. Very suspicious behaviour as he'd only just received some trackies online shopping in the mail a few days earlier. But nonetheless, he was going shopping to find the perfect engagement ring for Rui. So they went to Michael Hill and picked one out. The day Ash and I, we went and got the ring, I was severely hungover. We walked into Michael Hill and we saw heaps of people we knew there. And we were like, fuck. Ash goes, mate, you need to be the lookout. So I'm standing at the front of Michael Hill like a fucking security guard. <laughs> like this. As soon as they'd arrived at the beautiful Hotel Sorrento, Rui was doing her makeup for dinner that night and she noticed at this point that Ash started getting visibly nervous. And this is when Ash suggested that perhaps they should open the really fancy minibar Rosé. Rui was very opposed to this idea. She said, no, I won't like it anyway. It's overpriced. Let's not open it. He insisted. That's when he said, I'm opening this because your birthday isn't the only reason I bought you away this weekend. He got down on one knee asking Rui to marry him. Rui responded, laughing hysterically. But once the shock had worn off, it was of course a wholehearted yes. Wait till I get drunk, I'll pull out the lamb. the love of my life, my best friend, my personal cook and lover. I promise to support you in all your personal endeavours. I'll have your back no matter what. I promise to continue to be there for you and our little family for the rest of my days. I promise to try and make your day better every day, make you laugh and make you smile, even on those days when you've had a gut full of me and the kids, mainly me. You're the full package, Ree. I love you to the moon and back. I promise to call you several times a day, always starting with me again, followed by a quick question that definitely could have been sent as a text message. I promise to always love and care for you until our time is up. We'll be that elderly couple that you want to be holding hands in the street side by side. I cannot wait to spend the rest of this life with you and the perfect little family that we are creating. You are everything to me and my whole heart belongs to you. I love you. Introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lockett. It's been a great day so far. It's certainly going to get better from here, I think. Well, actually, no, it's been great before, and it's going to get really, really good still. <laughs> uh, let's all celebrate the hell out of this love. Let's party.